Hey friends, today I'm back with another sketchbook session and today I'm drawing some adorable Pomeranian puppies. I thought drawing some Pomeranians for my sketchbook would be a really fun choice as although they're small in stature, they're very fluffy and have a sassy nature. I thought it would be really interesting to try and capture this and their personality in my sketchbook. As always, I really like to fill my sketchbook page, so I decided to draw a Pomeranian puppy up close. I began this by drawing the guidelines really lightly initially and then working from the centre of the face outwards. So as you can see now, I'm just working on the eyes of this Pomeranian. As I do quick sketches in my sketchbook, I'm trying not to focus too much on the tiny tiny details such as each strand of fur, but really trying to concentrate on the groupings of these fur clumps. As you can see that I'm just drawing the outlines of the fur clumps that I see. I find drawing in this way to be quite freeing as I'm not getting bogged down in the details, but yet I'm still trying to communicate the overall picture to others that there is long fur on this little puppy. I definitely recommend this style for a beginner or someone who just wants to practice quick sketches as you're able to communicate a drawing quickly yet practicing your observation skills of how you can see shapes. So for this next Pomeranian puppy I decided to pick a picture of one that was giving the puppy dog eyes to its owner whilst looking a little bit sassy while it did it. I found this sketch to be particularly challenging mainly just because of the shape of the puppy and how fluffy it is. It was quite hard to define the head as well from the body due to the angle of this puppy. This is definitely the drawing that I struggled with the most but I eventually got to a place where I was happy with it after some careful adjustments. Sometimes when drawing or sketching you might find yourself in the ugly phase for quite a while. Not every drawing is as easy as others but the main thing is to learn as you go through the process and you're bound to get out of the ugly stage eventually as I found with this drawing after some adjustments. I found in particular that shading this puppy really helped to give some depth and separate the head as well as the body from the legs so it didn't look like just one big pom-pom. So far the drawings on this page were relatively cute but it was time to turn the sass up a notch. So for this next puppy, I found a strutting pose with a cheeky smile and it was really fun to draw this particular puppy. I found this a lot easier to draw than the previous drawing, mainly because I could see all of its legs and its body was clearly defined, as well as its face. What was particularly challenging about this little puppy was that I drew it a lot smaller than the puppy I'd previously drawn, which meant it was quite challenging to get details in, such as its little face and paws and fur strands, but I did my best to capture the essence of this puppy nevertheless. Despite the challenges of this particular drawing, I was really pleased how it turned out as I really think I captured a Pomeranian's personality. For the last drawing, I decided I really wanted to capture that cheeky personality once again, but this time from a sideways pose. I had loads of fun with this drawing, in particular the tail as it was just so fluffy and like a pom-pom, so that was really fun to capture. Overall, I really enjoyed drawing these puppies, they're just so full of personality and it really burst through this sketchbook page. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know as I'd love to hear from you. 
And if you'd like to see more sketchbook sessions, be sure to check out this playlist.